It's a weird thing. Lately, YouTube has been suggesting things for me to make videos about, like things that are popular. Iceberg videos, for example. But I'm not exactly sure this is what they had in mind. <laughs> What's going on, my friends? It's your old pal, Sean Pierce Johnson here, and welcome back to Stompbox Saturday. Hope you guys had a great week and are ready to check out what's on the stomping block this week. It is the D-Sound Pedals Iceberg Boost. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't at least acknowledge the origins of the D-Sound Iceberg. This is D-Sound's clone of the Fortin 33 Boost pedal. You may remember that pedal. It was released in a limited run several years back, and these days, the only ones that I can find are on the used market, and depending on their condition, the prices are kind of ridiculous. Some people wanting several hundreds of dollars for a mint version, and even used ones in not so great condition, they still want 200 bucks for. Thankfully, the D sound can be had for $100 brand new. So if you missed the boat the first or even the second time around, you can go ahead and get yourself an iceberg and get the same great tightening and saturation boost of that pedal for way less money and, well, it's brand new, straight to you. So let's talk a little bit about what exactly this thing is doing. One knob, that's all you need. It's a boost pedal after all, just adjusting the level of the boost. Now, what's interesting about this boost is it's not a full range boost. It is actually doing a little bit of low end roll off to make your low tuned instruments sound tighter. It does have, I believe, up to 20 to 22 dB of gain from the boost, so you can very easily boost the front end of an amplifier into further saturation or just use it as a way to get sort of unity, but maybe more as a tone shaping tool. Now, the Iceberg does eschew one particular feature of the 33 that I guess was sort of a hallmark, and that's the fact that the foot switch on the 33 would also switch channels, which is a pretty cool thing. But as someone who doesn't really need that, it's not a knock against the iceberg in any way, shape, or form for me. The pedal is powered by a standard nine volt power supply, and you can find the input and output jacks on the top of the pedal enclosure, which uh, a lot of you really, really care about, and I don't care a single bit about. Makes no difference in the tone to me. And tone is what's important, so let's finally hear this thing. Here's how the setup's gonna roll. The guitar is going into a TC Polytune 2 Mini to keep us in tune. I have that set in true bypass mode, so there's no buffer coming before the pedal. Going into the D Sound Ice and then into the front end of our amplifier of choice. We're gonna stick with the orange rocker verb for the majority of this video. Now into the front end, out of it, we are going into the Boss Wazacraft Tube Amp Expander. Out of the speaker output of the tube amp expander, we are going into the orange PPC-212. One of those vintage 30 speakers in there is mic'd up with a Shure SM57 and a Hilby Designs Boho ribbon microphone. That is then going direct into Pro Tools via my API A2D mic prees. Now, the main usage of a pedal like this is for extended range instruments. Seven, eight string, low tuned guitars. So why don't we bust out the Ormsby, tune it down to drop A and uh, see what kind of madness we can get up to.
I'd say that the Iceberg does exactly what it's advertised to do, really tightens up that low tuning and adds a fair amount of aggression to an already aggressive sounding guitar. It is kind of funny how much low end does get rolled off, far more than I was anticipating. So. I would probably make some adjustments to the low end in the preamp of whatever amplifier it is that I'm using, adding just a little bit more so maybe all the low end that I thought would be there doesn't go away completely. But with this idea in mind of what it's actually doing to the sound, why don't we switch over to a clean tone and hear what it's doing, not just with the tone shaping, but also the amount of gain that's going into the front end of the amplifier. We're gonna switch over to my Les Paul for this one, keep things in a relatively normal, not so low and chuggy tuning. <laughs> Hopefully with that little bit of a forensic approach, we can hear exactly what this thing is doing. And I gotta be honest, that full up setting with the Les Paul into the clean channel, that fuzziness, that sort of spitty kind of sound was, it was pretty stinking cool. But now let's go back to the dirty channel, keep the Les Paul around and see what this can do for a normal tuning and not a drop tuning. Now my Les Paul is tuned down half a step, but half a step down is nothing compared to drop A. <laughs>
there you have it, everybody. That is the D Sound Pedals Iceberg Boost. If you miss the boat the first time or the second time with the Fortin 33, this is very hard to pass up. And yes, it doesn't have the channel switching feature with the on off foot switch, but that really isn't that big of a deal. You're saving a ton of money and you're also not having to scour the internet for one that's in a reasonable price. I think it's really funny that they call it the iceberg uh, because when I think of icebergs, I think of things that successively go deeper and deeper and deeper and they, well, get darker and a little bit more scary. But this certainly makes your guitar sound a little bit scarier, um, but the aggression that it has, it's almost like, no, this is the tip of the iceberg that's gonna cut the hole of the Titanic open and cause it to sink. When it comes to extended range guitars, like seven and an eight string, nine string, 10 string. Wow, we're at 10 strings now with some guitar players. It's hard to keep up but it does exactly what it's advertised to do. So what more could you want? And it does work very well with my Les Paul. Make slight adjustments to the EQ on my amplifier, and I'll be very happy to use this particular pedal. I would like to shoot it out with a few of the other favorite high gain amp boost pedals, like an 808 or even the Augustine Clean Boost we looked at last year, but that might be another video for another day. A big thanks to D Sound for sending this for me to check out, and I hope you all enjoyed a look at it as well. If you want to let me know your thoughts, go ahead and use the comments section below. And I would love if you would help support the channel by doing a few simple things. Click the thumbs up button and give this video a like. Click the share button, share it with a guitar playing friend. And of course, the simplest thing is clicking the subscribe button and ringing the notification bell. But there is a better thing that you can do and a far more personal thing that you can do. And that is by going to my official website and signing up for my email newsletter. You can go to seanpiercejohnson.com or click the link in the description below. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, enter your email, and that's all you need to do. No money, no spam, just pedal demos and other demos direct to your email inbox. Thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. And until we see each other next, I'm Sean Pierce Johnson wishing you watching great tone, great health, and of course, happy stomping. Cheers, friends. See you in the future. God bless.